Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of M0A.com back with you. Part three now of our aircraft weight and balance video series. If you haven't seen the first two, you really need to go and check them out uh, via M0A.com. So this is a graphic I made up uh, almost two years ago now. <laughs> Still very relevant and very current. You may have seen it in a few of my books. Um, how does our CG affect our aircraft performance? Well, let's look at it in the relationship of stability. An AF CG actually makes our aircraft less stable. This is because the center of gravity is closer to the center of pressure, which causes us to have longitudinal instability and makes uh, a stall and spin recovery more difficult. And I'm going to give you a great example here in a second. Versus a forward CG means we're more stable because the center of gravity is further from the center of pressure, thus inc increasing that longitudinal stability, increasing leverage. Think about it like this. You're trying to open a door. A door handle is located on the, the furthest end of the door so you can have leverage to open it. Think of that door handle was right next to the hinges. It'd be a lot more difficult to open up that door. With the forward CG, the center of gravity is further from that center of pressure, thus giving you a longer arm, a longer center of gravity, more leverage, more rudder control to recover. Make sense? All right. Cruise speed. An aft CG gives us a higher cruise speed. This is due to the reduced drag and smaller angle of attack required to maintain altitude versus the forward CG over here is a slower cruise speed. An increase in drag because we need a greater angle of attack with that forward CG. You're flying at a higher angle of attack, thus decreasing your cruise speed. And lastly, let's talk about our stall speed. With an aft CG, you're going to have a lower stall speed because there is less wing loading. With a forward CG, you'll have a higher stall speed. This is due to the increased wing loading. Our critical angle of attack is reached at a higher speed. You're going to reach that critical angle of attack at which your airplane will lose lift and you will stall at a higher speed with a more forward CG. Guys, these three things, stability, cruise speed, and stall speed, are things that are going to come up on check rides, things that are going to come up when you're just flight plan doing weight and balance for taking people places that you need to really know and commit to memory. This graphic is available on m0a.com for download so you can save it, print it out, keep it in your flight bag or a binder or any records. Uh, of yours so you have them but it's real important that you know how cg affects your aircraft performance and also that you know how to properly calculate a weight and balance which you learned in part one and part two of this video series i hope you guys really really enjoyed it and had an awesome time and guys most importantly please remember that a good pilot is always learning have a great day guys i'll see you